And in terms, I just got to ask about this one, you know, when I was researching, I saw an article came up that dealt with, you know, there was uh, some sort of shooting that took place here. Mm-hmm. The bad guys leaving body bags. They pulled their guns and we, we shot them. Your security. I'm not going to go into the details. All right, so here I am in sunny Los Angeles. The weather might be nice, but finding it a bit difficult to tap into the whole scene here. So I'm thinking uh, to take matters into my own hand and go to a strip club. Oh, so I just came across Exposed Gentlemen's Club. It's uh, quite lowly rated, and uh, it is worth noting that the, the first photo is of a candle vigil. Picture of memorial for persons killed out front. Um, but the next one has their specials listed, so kind of mixed bag of things. I don't know what this photo is of, but it's like a bag of garlic and a vape pen. Interesting. Advertisement says free admission for first time. Security guard said I don't give a fuck. So fuck that guy in this place. The dancers are rude and disrespectful. They come up to you and tell you you need to dance. And once you say no thank you, they say fuck off. They insult their patrons just for enjoying the atmosphere and standing, sitting around. Not a good way to respect customers who pay $20 to get in. So I'm seeing a lot of complaints involving the price being very high and the customer service being very low. So I'm going to look out for that. Bartenders and people have been shot there. Nice. A few years ago, I was there at night and had a very bad feeling, so I left. That was the night two men were shot and killed in the middle of the club. I stopped going to this place. A lap dance is not worth my life. If you like random parking lot shootings, I'm sure this is the place for you. Just read the news articles on this place. A deadly shootout at a strip club in the San Fernando Valley caught on camera. A security guard took down two suspected gunmen. Two men with backpacks got into a confrontation with the general manager. My security guard shot both of them and, uh, and killed them. The LAPD says this club is no stranger to shootings. I think he did a great job. I'm gonna give him a bonus for taking out the bad guys. I'm not scared. Just kidding, I'm pretty fucking scared. can't film the girl on stage. Oh, okay. So just be careful. Great, we'll be careful. I'm Taji, by the way. Hi, I'm Brad. Nice to meet you, Brad. Um, do you want to just give me a quick tour of the spot? Um, sure. Oh, opening up a strip club is not the most easy thing to do in, this, in, a, in any city nowadays, but it's just tougher in a, in a blue state than a red state. And, um, yeah, we, we live in a, in a really messed up blue state. They, they, we've lost our First Amendment rights, we've lost our, our Second Amendment rights, and we're losing them nationwide. So hopefully Trump gets reelected and things will get better. Brad, copy. All right, should we keep checking out the rest of the spa? Go ahead. The tour continued with a visit to the club's high-tech DJ booth. This is our high-tech DJ booth. All the dancers are kept track of on the computer. Um, the DJs can know where every girl is, how much how much time they have left in the booth, um, who to call, and we track them over here. The managers and the DJs can monitor the parking lots and the bar and the entire club from here, or the manager's office, or my room, or even the back office. And what kind of other like obstacles, I guess, aside from just, you know, dealing with the town, dealing with the law, all that, has there been any other sort of issues in the past running a business like this? A possible attempted robbery at a gentleman's club in Canoga Park. The minimum wage keeps going up and up and forcing small businesses to close. And I mean, I'm ready to put a monkey behind the soda bar to push Coke and Sprite for 15 bucks an hour. 
You might get some animal kind of, you know, rights people maybe a little upset, but I don't know. No, no, we keep the monkey happy. I guess if you keep the monkey happy. It'd be, that'd be the happiest monkey around. It's air conditioned, it gets well fed, it gets a lot of attention. I guess you're right. Think about it. I guess yeah. you're right. Next, we went to see Private Moments, an adult store next door that Brad also owns. That's the whole entire wall of lube. There's more lube on this wall than in Santa Monica. It's a lot of lube. At this point, I thought I was starting to figure Brad out, but I was only scratching the surface. You might recognize that guy right there. Whoa. That was one of the, one of the last girls I worked with before I built the club. Oh. Oh. You know, you really are hot. I know. And why do they call you Brick Majors? That's the name I chose. Is there a reason behind that? No. You just like the name? Mm-hmm. Nice. Brad then took me to another part of his compound, a bikini bar called The Wet Spot. But our conversation quickly went to Brad's favorite topic yet again, his issues with California politics. Sacramento has their, um, their head so far up there that they can't, uh, they just don't get it. We'll probably dodge the politics too. We came here just, you know, for the club. Everything's politics. I guess. I guess when it comes to this. Um, cool. Everything so. is politics, guys. Everything. Every business has a political issues. A flower shop. This city's so out of control, they don't cite people selling flowers on the corners when, and then you got brick and mortar flower shops going out of business because they let all the illegals sit on the corners on Valentine's Day and all the special event, all the special occasions. It's not okay. And, and they're not paying their taxes. They're not paying rent. They're not paying anything. This whole country is changing, and it's not for the good. All right, well, should we so uh, enjoy get your to lap the dance? dance? And then Thank we'll come you. Back on, to that, politics. on that note, I'll, uh, I'll be left on that. Oh, and this one? This one's 19. Hello. 19 embraces. Now, don't tell baby mama, because that's my girlfriend, and baby mama's next door. And I get a two and a half year old, too. All right, well, we'll keep that on the low. So I'm, I'm going to let you play. I'm going to let you go talk to my girlfriend and play with my girlfriend, but just, just don't tell anybody. We'll, we'll make sure. Your secret's safe here. Okay. Hello. How's it going? Good. How I'm Taji. I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you. Thanks for chatting with me. Of course. So you can go ahead and sit down. All right, let me make sure I can find my money. A little bit. Are you really? I don't even think I can get this money in here. I'm so nervous. So I wanted to ask you, I guess just working with here, like in general, do you ever deal with any like difficult customers? Do you have any crazy stories or anything? Um, for me personally, I kind of can feel like vibes off of people. So I don't know. I don't really get like those creepy guys. What's my vibe like right now? You're very a nervous. Stiff, little nervous. Yeah, I, try. Yeah, I feel, go ahead I feel and like relax. Very, yeah. I even like did some research before coming in. I didn't even notice uh, some people had written like some negative reviews. Have oh you God. ever checked out any of those? Yeah, I mean, everybody has their own opinion. Some people might have the best experience here, and some people might not like what we do. You know? I guess they've complained too about the management. What has your um, experience been like working here? Honestly, it's been really good. Like, I always hear like stories about like I feel like really comfortable here. I know they got my back. Got it. Thank you so much, Meredith. That was an awesome lap dance. You have an awesome rest of your day now. Thanks, you too. All right, bye. At least Meredith was super sweet. Now it was time to meet back up with Brad in his office to hear his side of the negative reviews. Not the messy desk. This do not get that in the shot. I do not, that's not mine. I don't drink that shit. All right, you got Fox News playing. You're not gonna like this. But is there any way we could turn off the Fox News? No. Fox News is always on. The bartenders cannot change Fox News in the bar. Wow. Ever. You never caught any heat for that? Ever. Oh, yeah. Some people get mad. They get all pissy and they, they leave. But do you almost feed off of that energy sometimes? I do. Seems like it, I can I tell. I do. They get all, people get worked up, but oh well. All the cupcakes, but it's okay. That's myself and Eric Garcetti, okay. the mayor of Los Continuing Angeles. Continuing the mayor. And there's our president. Has Donald Trump been here? No. But if he came in, I wouldn't charge him. These are really from Russia. You can't get them online. You can't get them anywhere. Those are really, really from Russia. There's Hillary at the top. But uh, whoa, Trump should be happy with my shrine. These are all my dinosaur fossils, my dinosaur eggs. What's the story behind all the dinosaurs? That I'm an atheist, Republican, environmentalist. It's quite a combination. It is, huh? 
I believe in global warming, but I still want a wall, a big wall. Well, we don't have much time with you, so I'm just going to get right to the point. You know, I just wanted to know, I guess, just, you know, some of your side of the story, you know, and some of these negative reviews I was checking out before I came in here. Most negative reviews come from people that have either done something wrong here, or I've had to take them by their ear and throw them out, out the door. or Yeah, somebody... I guess that's one that kept coming up, like excessive force, I guess, with security. Yeah, we all have, we all, we're all armed, you know, we're ready for war if the next coming civil war happens between, uh, between us and all the Muslims, you know, the entire, uh, the entire wave that's, that's trying to take over the country. Yeah, we're ready. What about the $20 cover charge people seem to not like? If you can't afford, you know, we got 20 girls, if you can't afford a dollar a naked girl, then you shouldn't be here. Okay. Then you don't have a job. And then you're a Bernie supporter. Okay. And in terms, I just got to ask about this one. You know, when I was researching, I saw an article came up that dealt with, you know, there was uh, some sort of shooting that took place here. Mm-hmm. Bad guys leaving body bags. They, they were gang members and they tried to rob us and they pulled their guns and we, we shot them. Your security. I'm not going to go into the details. Got it. They pulled their guns out, they shot the DJ, and then they got shot in that order. So do you think, I guess, that can be misinterpreted on the internet sometimes? People, I guess... Well, of course. People make up their own versions of everything. I mean, they, they, they might have thought there was a conspiracy between me being friendly with LAPD and LAPD covering up our murder. Um, but I took the film crews up in the attic and let them look at the, uh, the actual raw footage. Um, everybody except for Telemundo. I deported them in the parking lot and they got mad. So they, they had to wait on the sidewalk while everybody else got to come inside. And, why and why would footage. you do that to Telemundo? Because Telemundo, isn't, they're, they lie. They lie as much as CNN and, and MSNBC. Do you ever go on and read the reviews? No. You don't even really pay them any I don't mind. care. Do you have a message you might like to give to people out there that are hating on your business online? Nothing. I don't even care. You just kind of really push don't them, care. You just push them aside. The, 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 the cupcakes can whine and complain all they want. I'm, we're, I'm here. I've been here for 20 years, and I'm, I'll die here. All right, guys, I got to go. All right, we'll let you go. Thank you. Is the office better than you expected? Yeah, no. It's not a boring it's office. It's a nice-ass office, and yeah. the dinosaur eggs, all that stuff. Yeah. And the TVs, with the, with the exception of Fox News, though. <laughs> yes, Mr. Bernie supporter. All right. I can tell, right? right? Bernie? Maybe. No, yeah, yeah, right. Of Don't course. lie. Of course. Don't lie to yeah, us. Yeah, we course. know you. I can just look at you and tell you yeah. tell you're a Bernie supporter. All right. Shout out to Bernie. Hey. <laughs> our time with Brad was up, but before he sent us on our way, he wanted to show our producer one last thing. However, no cameras or even me were allowed. Okay, no, you get to wait out there. I'm going to show you something. Stay here. We have a, a 4,000 square foot underground basement. Really? With, with all of our machine guns. Hold on. Just joking. Kind, kinda. But when I built it, I built the entire room back here. So this is my playroom. So I got walk-in closet. I got a separate toilet room. You come over here, big screen TV, phone by the bed so I can harass you. Be on my radio on the phone at the same time, harass everybody and still fuck the girls. <laughs> oh, and I'm still wired, wired. I'm still wired up? Yep, Ben. I got it, yeah. You got it? You got all that? Yeah, in the room. <laughs> I was certainly nervous to attend Exposed based on the reviews and articles I had read beforehand. I was greeted by the owner, Brad, who, it's fair to say, had an intense energy. How's it going? Cut, 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 seriously cut. However, I did meet Brad's friend and employee, Meredith, who gave me a quite pleasant dance while we touched upon the negative reviews. Meredith sensed my nerves and put me at ease, which couldn't have come at a better time before confronting Brad about the reviews and articles. My time in Brad's office was like an out-of-body experience, it's hard to recall, but I do remember he was the first to admit that both him and his business were disliked. However, he did not care to fight it, but will fight you if you come into his establishment with an unapproved attitude. I've never lost a fight in 20 years. I admire Brad's commitment to his business, but I find it hard to admire his extreme viewpoints. But as Brad put it himself, 
bad guys leave in body bags. So me leaving in one piece feels like confirmation that I must be a good guy. Now you gotta go pick up your kid? Yes. All right. Bye guys, I'm out. Thank you again. I'll just hang out amongst all the lube now. <laughs>